Zillow is bounced. You've been very visible on Zillow. This is the real estate shop, and you're saying, well, this may be set up for price decline as well. Bring up the chart, if you would, the idea of Zillow really being a rather substantial success, 2015 to 18. What did you see quarters ago in Zillow that allowed you to institute that short then? So one of the, I think, the most important trends of the market has been that the market has rewarded companies that generate a lot of free cash flow with very little capex. And the sector that does that the most is tech, and that's probably why tech has gone up the most of any sector in the economy. So Zillow last year announced that they were migrating away from their internet platform business, so they're still going to do that, but they're going to take their free cash flow and invest it in generating mortgages and buying homes and flipping them. And when they reported in January, they tripled down on that business model. Last year, uh, during the beginning of the year, people had models of over $300 million in EBITDA for Zillow in 2019. The range of estimate now is zero to 75 because the company is taking all its cash flow and putting it into its flipping home business. Mm -hmm. So I have a company, every bank and financial services that company that I know would wish it was an internet platform company. And I have an internet, Zillow is an internet platform company that's trying to become a financial services company. I think it's just value destructive. Right, but Steve, overall, so away from this particular case, how much will banks have to adapt to FinTech? Are we going to see a big Facebook or a Google actually go after the banks and try, try and become one? Or do they just need to adapt and adjust and buy FinTech to be more nimble? I don't quite look at it that way. I, I think if you if you talk to the very large banks like Amy <clears throat> Diamond, who I think you're going to talk to later, they live in fear of Facebook, Google, et cetera. And so there's, you know, I think Jamie Diamond's budget for tech this year is about 10 billion, with 3 billion allocated to new tech payments, et cetera. Um, the large banks, I think, will be fine. The, the the banks that are at risk are everybody below the top five because they can't afford to spend this kind of money.